My name is Alan Wadsworth. I'm the Market Development Manager at Agilent Technologies for the Parametric Product Line. And today I'd like to tell you a bit about the uh, Agilent B1505 Power Device Analyzer Curve Tracer. This is a great product for testing all kinds of power MOSFETs, IGBTs, uh, silicon carbide devices, gallium nitride devices at high power. This instrument can actually test at up to 1500 amps and 10,000 volts. It has a lot of really nice features including an oscilloscope view which actually allows you to go in and look at the waveforms as you're pulsing the device. You can actually verify waveforms for example right on the box without using a separate oscilloscope. It's completely safe. It has a test fixture which you can purchase and this test fixture enables the very safe testing of devices. You can again test up to high voltage and complete safety. Also the product is very modular. You can start off with a base configuration of say 20 amps and uh, 3000 volts and add to it later if you'd like to. Uh, you can actually add an increment say of uh, 500 amps or 1500 amps and again if you need to go to higher voltages we have the 10,000 volt unit. Now today I'm going to give you a brief demo of testing at 500 amps and 10,000 volts. Here I've got a power uh, MOSFET which I'm going to test up to 500 amps and that's uh, the cabling for that comes in from over here. In addition, uh, because I'm using the high voltage unit that goes to 10,000 volts, I'm going to these special uh, high voltage outputs here and I've got these two diodes here which I've soldered together and that allows me to go up to the uh, roughly 9.5 kV breakdown voltage. We also have uh, a socket adapter for Tektronix uh, users. So if you, would, uh, if you have test sockets that already exist for your uh, Tech Curve Tracer, you can use them with our product uh, in this socket adapter, and it, so it makes it very convenient. You don't have to replace your test fixtures. And this actually can go up to 1500 amps. So the B1505A actually has several different modes that you can use it in. There's a sort of a application test mode where we provide application tests that you can do a fill in the blanks test on. Uh, there's a classic test mode for people that are familiar with the 415556. There's also a tracer test mode, which uh, curve tracer users would be familiar with. And there's also a um, quick test mode for doing test sequencing without programming. Having said all this, I think it's better to go ahead and just start the demo and let you see what the product can do. So what we have here is our N1265A uh, test fixture current amplifier. So again, the current amplifier is actually built into this box. So this can actually go to 1500 amps. And as you can see, this is completely safe. So to actually do the measurement, I now have to go ahead and close the box. Okay, so I'm going to start off by showing you the ID VD measurement of the MOSFET at uh, 500 amps. So here I've got my uh, saved test here, and all I have to do is select it and do a recall. And in this case, I'm actually going to go ahead and dial down a little bit. So I want to start a little bit lower just to show you how this works. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, repeat function here. And you can see that I'm starting to generate my family of curves. There you go my IDVD curves. Now I can actually go in here just like on a regular curve tracer and select it. Again, notice this is a touch screen. So I can go ahead and start increasing the voltage and as I increase the uh, drain voltage here up to maximum, you're going to see that the curve changes. So now I'm actually testing up to 500 amps on the device. And the other neat feature again is that on this product I can actually go in and look at any point on this curve and see the pulsed waveforms. So of course, because it's a power device, everything has to be pulsed. So notice the little mark over here, and then I'm looking at the waveforms on that point. So here you can see that I can see the uh, drain voltage, drain current, and gate pulse all here on the screen. And I can verify with this little timing window that i am actually got stable waveforms. So this is a very uh, important feature again for power devices because you need to make sure that your waveforms are stable when you're making a measurement. And this again eliminates the need to use a separate oscilloscope for this measurement. Okay, so that's a very uh, simple, easy to use. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this measurement here. Now I'm going to go down and actually pull up this classic test mode here for doing my breakdown measurement. So I'm going to go ahead and do the breakdown measurement at 10,000 volts. This is going to be very quick, very simple. I press the start button. You can see it's sweeping. And there we go. Voila. It actually broke down at about 9.5 kilovolts. So again, I don't know of any other instrument out there that can do these type of benchtop uh, measurements at such high voltages and currents. So once again, this has been the B1505 Power Device Analyzer Curve Tracer. 
Uh, and if you'd like to get more information on this product, you can go to our website at www.agilent.com and search for B1505A. It'll take you right to the webpage. You can get all the information you'd like, data sheets, application notes, etc. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.